Hello, everyone. My name is An Ziyan, and I'm going to introduce our work. The title is Modeling Interround Attack of Online Debater for Winner Prediction. Uh, in general, in a debate, two debaters with opposite stance put forward argument to fight for their viewpoints. The common purpose of debating is to persuade the opponent and the audience to agree with the mentioned proposition. But modeling the interaction of argument between rounds is re really discussed in the previous works. So in this paper, we focus on assessing uh, the overall performance of debaters in a multi-round debate on online forums. So uh, this is the outline of my presentation. In the following, I have divided my presentation into uh, several parts. I will start with a brief introduction of our motivation and some related works. Next, I will introduce how to uh, extract our community structure uh, and introduce the, the feature into our winner prediction model. And then I will move on the data set used in this work. Then the uh, experiment result and discussion are also included. Finally, I will finish my presentation with some conclusion. So uh, recently, um, many people like to express their opinion and discuss with other uh, people on website. And so this, uh, this uh, 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 it's, uh, it's forming a large scale and easily accessible resource for researchers to study the important factor of uh, conducting uh, persuasive arguments. So um, the study of argumentation help people to understand how uh, human organize their, their sentence and uh, about uh, their opinion and discover the knowledge implicitly in uh, argumentative structure. And, uh, but different from uh, the well-known issues about opinion mining, uh, argument mining aims at understanding what position people hold and why. So, um, uh, a debate usually lasts for several rounds. And at each round, debater from uh, two obscene stance conduct their arguments, trying to support their position and attack opponent uh, weak, weak points. So in this paper, we focus on uh, identifying the, the winner of two debaters who have uh, opposite stance arguing for their viewpoint in a, a multi-round from the online debating website. So uh, we can see that uh, in this example, there are uh, three rounds and uh, in each round there, uh, there are two um, uh, paragraph gen uh, written by the pro and con and, uh, and finally, um, in the uh, online, web, online web website, uh, the audience will choose uh, uh, whether pro or con wins uh, this uh, debate. So um, assessing the persuasiveness of arguments made by debater is one of the hardest tasks in natural language processing. However, uh, assessing uh, the better uh, performance over all round of debate requires to uh, face the uh, following two challenges. So, um, the first research question is how to determine whether the debater present a logical and convincing argument to support uh, their proposition and against the opponent. And the second research question is how to introduce the interaction between the argument of two debater into the winner prediction model. Uh, for example, does the debater attack uh, the opponent's arguments? So to address uh, these issues, we construct a, a 
winner prediction model by uh, leverage argumentative structure and the interaction between two debaters in a multi-round debate. Uh, so uh, there are uh, some uh, uh, argument mining techniques are adopted in our work. So uh, the argument mining technique are adopted to uh, extract boundaries of argumentative discrete units, uh, which is called ADUS, from row text and identifies their relation, uh, including attack, support, or no relation. So ADU is, uh, ADUS is um, the te text bands in the paragraph that uh, contains the, uh, like uh, some opinion about, uh, 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 opinion from the, the debater to, to express their uh, thoughts about this topic. And so, uh, so extracting argumentative structure is important to identify uh, the persuasiveness uh, about the, parag uh, the paragraph of the, of the debater. So, uh, uh, so given unstructured row text, the first step is to detect argument component and their boundaries. Okay, so uh, the task of ADU boundary recognition is to extract textual span from the paragraph and identify their semantic types. And to uh, construct the boundary recognition model, we use uh, BERT to encode token representation following by a, a condition random field there as our classifier. And after recognize, uh, recognition, uh, uh, recognizing the, the boundaries of ADUS in, the, in a paragraph, the next step is to identify the relation between ADUS. It can be viewed as a sequence classification problem. And uh, uh, give us, so given a pair of ADUs, the, the relation identification model predicts whether if a relation uh, exists between the pairs and its relation types, uh, which is uh, support attack and no relation. So, so our model is M at classify, uh, classifying the relation between two ADUs into these three types. And uh, we further consider ADU relation at the intra and inter level. Okay, so uh, uh, formally uh, ADU relations can be considered as uh, interaction between uh, arguments and the intra level relation represent uh, ADU relation in the same paragraph from one debater to encode the information about how the debater organized their arguments. And for, uh, uh, so, so uh, for the intra-level relation, the debater organized their argument in a, a structured way, uh, given, uh, giving appropriate reasoning for their arguments. And the inter-level relation represents ADU relation between uh, the, the adjacent paragraph from uh, two debater to encode the interaction between two debater. So um, it means a, a, uh, a debater gives response uh, to opponent's argument, either conducting a rebuttal or a, a concession. So to predict which debater is the winner, both uh, intra and uh, inter-level relation are utilized to compute attention weight for detecting important interaction in our model. So here is uh, an example, uh, the de debater uh, uh, can start the debate by conducting the paragraph uh, sub sub one super con, which consists of uh, several sentences and four 
uh, ADUs and uh, uh, is consists uh, for ADU, which is uh, ADU sub one, uh, comma one super cones to uh, sub one, comma four. And uh, in this paragraph, the debater use the uh, second ADU and the fourth ADU to support the first ADU in this paragraph forming uh, intra-level relation. And um, in the next turn, the better uh, 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 conduct uh, the, the uh, paragraph. And um, it's, okay, uh, it's used uh, the fifth ADU to support the uh, first ADU and the uh, fourth ADU to attack the third ADU. And uh, in addition, the second debater used the first ADU to attack uh, opponent's first ADUs in the previous par paragraph, forming uh, an in interlabel relation. So uh, the, the goal in this work is to uh, model the interaction between two debater. And uh, given a multi-round debate, our goal is to predict the winner of the debate. And as shown is in this figure, our model first encode the row text in each paragraph to vector representation by a uh, paragraph encoder. And we extract ADU relation from the argumentative structure. Like um, uh, we have uh, construct some features like uh, ADU and grain frequency, relation frequency, link degree, and relative position. Then we add these features construct from uh, uh, both intra and uh, interlabel relation and um, we apply, we further apply uh, uh, the, the tension mechani mechanism between uh, paragraph uh, representation and ADU relation um, at uh, in intra and interlabel uh, relation. So the paragraph re representation are concatenated with the tension weight for the uh, corresponding ADU relation and the, the, rela uh, the representation for each paragraph and argumentative structure features are encoded by uh, one, one their uh, bidirectional LSTM model and pass to a, a fully connected layer to make the final uh, prediction. And uh, the data used in this study come from two sources. Uh, the first one is the change my view form, and the second one is uh, debate.org. And we we first uh, train an argumentative structure extraction model by the data set collected from change my view. It's uh, labeled with the ADU strategy boundary and relation annotation. Then we uh, use the DDO data set collected from debate.org. Uh, uh, we use this data set uh, to train the winner prediction model. So to, to ensure the reliability of persuasiveness label, we uh, filter some noise like uh, the debates according to the difference of vote. Um, the difference of the number of vote between winner side and loser side should be uh, greater than two. And since um, the number of round words was set before a debate starts, so uh, the debater usually complete their argument in the first few round according to our observation. So we uh, finally uh, uh, choose the, the debate whose round, uh, uh, whose number of round are three, four, and five. And so uh, in our experiments, we split 10% of training data for validation. 
And uh, to evaluate the debate winner prediction model, we compare our model with some baseline model. Here, uh, majority means that if we, uh, uh, if the model predicts the majority of the label in a data set. And here are some uh, baseline model, then the, uh, the major um, component, sorry, uh, uh, we, um, we, our target is to um, outperform the uh, BERT uh, and bidirectional LSTM model, uh, which is, and, and a structure feature which is proposed from uh, another works. And uh, they encode uh, the, the paragraph from the debate by uh, BERT and they used uh, by direction LCM to uh, aggregate the, the argumentary structure. And uh, the difference between our, uh, uh, between our model and this model is that we have uh, encode some uh, uh, inter and intra relation into our model. So in, in this table, we can see that um, the uh, our model achieved the best performance compared with other baseline. And here are some uh, results of ablation study and the results show that uh, the uh, Two level attention, which means uh, intra and inter level, is uh, are are very important in uh, the the task of winner prediction. And uh, to better understand the performance uh, difference of our model under uh, different kinds of debate, we divide uh, all the debate in the test into two parts. Uh, uh, which are low probability and high probability, or uh, round equal to three, or uh, round larger than three. So the lower uh, relation probability means that the ADU relation in this debate may be less uh, reliability. Hi, hi and sorry. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm afraid we are running out of the presentation times to, okay. uh, uh, sorry. maybe we can speed up into the conclusion okay, and okay. some takeaway messages. Okay, so uh, 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 in summary, so uh, our model have has greater performance improvement on different setting. And um, we also uh, conduct some analysis about our structure features. And uh, we find uh, that winner conducts intra-level relation with uh, the, the uh, FAC and value strategies more frequently. And the, uh, uh, the strategy of use, uh, using rhetorical sentence uh, is not favorable to, to the user on the debate.org. So uh, in, in this paper, we address how to determine the winner in a multi-round debate by consider the argumentative structure. And we propose a, a attention uh, mechanism for modeling the inter uh, and intra-label relation between the debaters. So um, uh, experiment results show that our model can capture the interaction between uh, paragraph. So, uh, and this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for your attention. Okay, uh, sorry about the time limit. We, uh, and uh, so we would like to see if there are questions from the audience. And uh, yeah, uh, before we go, I have a question from my side. So are you happy to answer? So yeah, and so the, the question is about essentially you are working on the model in the debate between uh, one side to another. So, uh, have you considered capturing the flaws of the opponent's point in your model? And does it gonna be? Do you? What, are you expect it's gonna be helpful in improving the model's performance? Uh, okay. Uh, but uh, sorry. Um, I'm. Have no idea about the flow of opinion. 
uh, open. Uh, so, uh, could you explain uh, because, this concept? Uh, okay. Yeah, because when you do a debate, uh, once the winner uh, win because it can uh, it successfully capture what is the flaws or what is the negative points of the opponents and then defeat it. So in this case, could you, uh, uh, so do you imagine or do you expect these kinds of modeling of the these types of negative points going to be useful or helpful to your model or not the case? Oh, okay. So, uh, so do you mean that to, to measure the strength of the uh, uh, opinion or uh, the persuasiveness of the ADUs? Yeah, so... so um... Okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, for the questions, I think it, it would it would be very helpful for this task, uh, but um, actually the um, uh, uh, in this work we only uh, extract ADUs because um, uh, this is the pilot model to uh, uh, not use in this study uh, or um, in this topic. And I think it is uh, worth to uh, investigate uh, how to uh, identify the the strength of the the ADU that is attached to uh, the opponent's uh, ADUs. So uh, I think we can uh, investigate these uh, these topic in the future work. Okay, um, thanks for the answering. And uh, this is a nice talk and a nice piece of work.